Alright. <clears throat> Next step, I'm going to finally paint the inside of the hull. I wanted a non-skid, uh, you know, rubber coating type deal. Uh, did some internet research and, you know, I, I think this stuff is, is probably one of the better brands out there just from the reviews and whatnot. Uh, yeah, it's specifically designed for marine services and aluminum boats. So yeah, but the one warning with it was uh, the prep was real important and you had to follow the steps real carefully. So what I'm going to do is uh, pressure wash the boat first, get as clean as I can, then uh, scrub it with uh, a degreaser basically, this, this dish detergent, uh, pressure wash it again, and then I'm going to paint this stuff called OSFO onto it. Uh, it's an aluminum etching, uh, phosphoric acid. Uh, you know, I, I think it's designed to get inside the pores and take out all the oil, the grease, residual rust, and things like that. And you let it sit, you paint it on, let it sit overnight, and then supposedly you get a powder that you can just pretty much brush off and then you're left with a real clean surface. Then I got this stuff which goes with the non-skid, it's a um, primer called MP10. Uh, it's specifically designed for aluminum surfaces. So yeah, then I paint this on next, and uh, and then last is the uh, the non-skid. Uh, I'm gonna use a brush for all three of these. Um, you know, a roller probably isn't gonna cut it just because there's so many ribs and and little crevices inside the boat, so I'll use a brush, hopefully it goes far enough. Uh, it mentioned that you could spray it on, uh, but you needed a special gun for it, so I, I think I'm just going to paint it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I just finished acid etching uh, with the OSFO solution. Um, I guess it's what it needs to be before I put this primer on, but just a quick note, it says it's going to dry in 24 hours. If it's real humid outside, it takes a lot longer than that. It took closer to three days before it dried and turned to like a powdery substance. But uh, yeah. I think at the, at, after that, I kind of just sanded off the powder and then shop vacked it and then wiped wiped the boat down with acetone. Uh, I think it's ready to go. The, the humidity is right around 80%. I've been waiting about a week for it to drop below 85 to apply the primer because that's what it says it needs. But uh, yeah, we'll see how the primer goes. All right, after three coats of non-skid, this is turning out really good, in my opinion. Um, the stuff went on kind of difficult, almost like peanut butter. Uh, and after the first coat, it was hideous. I was actually really worried, but I ended up having enough for three coats. So two gallons of that non-skid paint gave me three coats. and. You know, each coat looked better and better. 
there was some cracking going on on the first and second coat, but uh, you know, the more you put on, the better it starts to look. Um, there's a couple touch-up spots I need to do, but for the most part, I'm I'm really happy with the way the boat's starting to look. Uh, next, I'm going to put the benches in. Um, there's a spot for one here. <clears throat> so that's going to be pretty simple. But up here, they don't. I don't have these little wing tab deals. So I don't have any aluminum, but I do have some spare plexiglass. Uh, it's roughly the same stiffness. These aren't designed to support the weight of the bench. The bench actually sits on this rail right here. But... Uh, but these are you know, designed to hold it in place. So I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Like I said, I have this plexiglass. I think it'll work good. But uh, I'll probably put it from here across. And uh, you know, this, this actual rail right here will support the weight of the bench. But the, uh, hopefully the plexiglass will keep it in place. Uh, this is what I'm gonna use for the bench. Uh, benches, I guess both of them. I'm going to stain them the same color as I stain the transom and then I have like an epoxy uh, urethane that I can use probably a little bit better and more durable than the, the polyurethane I used over there. So we'll see.